English has many obscure and antiquated words and phrases. Many of the meanings of these phrases are not immediately apparent. Here are a few of those. Who is the Fair Maid of Ireland? Not a person. It is one of a huge number of terms for unidentified natural lights, also known as Will-o'-the-Wisp, Ghost Light, Joan the Wad, Jack-o'-lantern, Spook Light, Pinket, Friar's Lantern, Hinky Punk, Fairy Fire, Pixie Light, Ignis Fatus, and Min Min Light. A Baduri Shower is an Australian term. It means a dust storm, referring to the town of Baduri, being an oasis in the outback desert. It only rains an average of 16 days a year there, so you're more likely to have dust than water fall on you. The anchor of hope is a gemstone. The opal. In Asia, the opal is said to have a soul and to attract luck. In Arab tradition, the stone comes from heaven. Yet the opal is also said to be unlucky. It came to be associated with the Black Death in 14th century Venice, and due to a superstition that it conferred invisibility, was said to be owned by thieves. Over 90% of the world's opals come from Australia, and the De Beers Company in the 20th century had a marketing campaign that for a while convinced Australians that opals were unlucky, and that diamonds were the must-have jewel. Throw the hatchet. A sport? Kind of. To throw the hatchet is a 19th century slang term meaning to exaggerate. It's similar to saying to draw the long bow, and comes from tales of Native American skill with throwing a tomahawk an incredible distance with accuracy, or splitting an entire tree with one blow. For the record, Kyle Edwards threw an axe into a target 90 feet away in North Carolina on the 13th of November 2017. Winchester geese, a term known from as early as 1591. What type of poultry are these? Not poultry, but prostitutes. In the medieval era, Southwark, on the opposite bank of the Thames from London, was where the theatres, bawdy houses and other places of entertainment stood. Southwark was in the domain of the Bishop of Winchester, who taxed these establishments handsomely. The ladies received the nickname because of the way they would gather about men, calling out for their attention, like a gaggle of geese. The death bell is an unusual superstition in Scotland. Scottish peasants who heard a tinkling sound in their ears believed it was an omen that a friend of theirs would soon die. Barmaid's blush is another Australian saying. Barmaid's blush is any reddish or pinkish coloured drink such as rum and raspberry cordial, red wine and lemonade, or beer and raspberry cordial. The Devil's Bedstead, or the Devil's Bed Post, is the name of the playing card the Four of Clubs. It has been called this since at least 1873, probably due to the arrangement of the club symbols on the card, although the equivalent in the tarot deck, the Four of Wands, when reversed in a layout signifies unhappiness. A deck of cards is known as the Devil's Picture Book due to the use of cards in gambling, and therefore general association with sinful activities. Other cards have nicknames such as the Ace of Diamonds, being Bonace. Bonace was a simple gambling game, played as early as 1611, in which this ace was the highest ranked card. Bone derives from the French bon, meaning good. Goblins gloves. They must be very ugly gloves. No, they're quite beautiful. It's another term for the flower usually called the foxglove. It makes more sense when you realise that fox is not named for the animal with the bushy tail, but is a corruption of the word folks, meaning fairy folk. There are hundreds of local variant names for flowers. Pansies are known as Tickle Me Fancy, Heartsease, Jack Jump Up and Kiss Me, Come and Cuddle Me, Three Faces in a Hood, Love in Idleness, and Pink of My John. A prigger of prances is known to date back to at least 1736, but has fallen out of use. A prigger is a thief, and a prancer is a horse. A prigger of prances was slang for a horse thief. 
A hog rubber must therefore be a rubber of hogs. Well, there's nothing to say that a hog rubber doesn't rub hogs, but the term means a fool. Whether it would be foolish to rub a hog or not, who can say? There are many strange terms that mean fool. Among them, fop doodle, sap skull, jesting stock, gob door, bobberline, beef witted, hair cop, addle pate, clod pole, nincompoop, dauble, and dunderhead. And as we reach the end of this video, before it fades to darkness, anti twilight is a name dating from 1889 for the pink and purplish colour of the sky at sunset.